Epic score, Dragon Attack C. Um, Odyssey. Odyssey? Odyssey? Odyssey. Oh, Desi. LCD ones. So, I haven't been here long. Maybe a week. And I'm, I finally got it. I got it. This is when Zeos puts these just say, you know what? Screw everything I was doing. I got it. So, Odyssey wanted to compete with some other headphones in the portable category, which is like, I know your brain is like, wait, wait, the same Odyssey that sells LCD Xs, which we literally feel like they could be used as a boat anchor? Yes. They wanted something light. They've done light portable before. They did the um, the, the open and close back. Um, I can't remember the name of those stupid headphones. I really should look this stuff up beforehand. EL, EL8C? No, e, yeah, EL8s. Is that it? It was EL8 and EL8C. So they've, they've dabbled in like the portable luxury market before. Those are still expensive. Those are still up in six, six, seven hundred dollars when they first came out. These are four hundred dollars, which is not an unreasonable number if you consider certain things. Number one, they're made in America. And for those of you watching who are not American, it's very hard to find things made in America that are American. Grados are made in America and they're like 60 bucks or 80 bucks, but they're also Grados, so they're gonna break. If they break, they break forever. And Odyssey prides itself in that. And I am American, I have to like, okay, I, I get you behind you. You're not sending this shit off to China to be made. So we're gonna raise the price 33%, one third more so if this was made in china they could charge 300 they're charging 400 so we're going to assess this pair as if it was a 300 dollars pair of headphones um comes with a nice box comes with a carry case which indicates that it's designed for travel now here's the thing i'm all about travel travel's fine you could you pack something in your luggage these fold these fold down like this you can get them real small and put them together in your little box so are they travel headphones or are they portable headphones? Because when I think portable headphone, I think I'm gonna wear it and go outside, you know, there with, with the wind and the trees and shit are, that's outside. But this is an open back planar headphone. Luckily easy enough to drive. It's not, it's not a monster. It doesn't take, you know, six, 1.21 gigawatts. 6.21 gigawatts would be a lot more than 1.21 gigawatts to drive them, so they're they're okay as far as that goes. I kind of like the way that when they fold, I don't know if this was done on purpose or just a stupid lock that you could leave the wire attached and the actual cuff angles down so you don't hit it against the headband. So that's that's nice, it's nice. We gotta talk about um, some other things real quick because this bothered the shit out of me when I got, when I unboxed these. Comes with, this, again, it's really, really nice bag. I wonder if this is made in America. The odds of that are zero. Doesn't smell like an American made bag, but quarter inch adapter. And it came with this little velvet, very nice little pouch with Velcro on it, just stuffed in here. Because it was a terrible unboxing presentation. You opened up this, you know, the lids over there are currently being used to hold shit because that's what Zeus does. Open this up and it was like, you don't, you didn't see this presented to you. It was wrapped in bubble wrap. And I'm like, but it's in foam. That's what the foam's for, to, so I could open up and just see the headphone. So, okay, we take that out, then we open this up, and this had, like, foam on top of it as well. Wrapped around the headphones, like, weird, mmm, Fostex is just teaching everyone how to terribly have an unboxing experience. And I know the unboxing experience only happens once, so I'm only gonna talk about it for a little bit. But then this happened. I usually complain about things. I'm gonna complain about the wire, I'm gonna complain about a lot of things, but this bothered me the most, because this is the supposed to be in there. Let me show you real quick. Just go away, mouse. You're supposed to put these in here like so, and then, I'm sorry, like so, and this is supposed to be the separator that happens in, in here, and they give that to you to install. So you gotta figure out how it fits, and then you gotta push it down, and then you gotta like lift this out, and you gotta apply it, and then you have a beautiful chinchilla's nutsack to slide your headphones against, I guess, to separate them. However, that's dumb because the only part that could touch, this is the part that would get damaged and scratched here, and the only part that's touching it is your pad, so you, you literally can't, I don't understand. It was just weird and stupid, I don't like it, I don't like it. 
So, okay, that's great. This is great, put this over here, we don't need that. Here's a little, this, this is what came with it, a piece of paper in a very nice cardboard, oh, there's a, forgot about that. I will hide the serial number, but this is a certificate of authenticity card that says your item was inspected by this guy. This is it, you're, you're, in, you're in the money. You got this beautiful uh, cardboard thing which contains a single printed sheet of paper. And uh, blah, 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 meticulously engineered for comfort, convenience, and premium sound quality, or premium quality sound. Uh, it features some of Odyssey's most powerful planar magnetic technology. Eh? I don't know what that means. I don't know how technology itself can be powerful. You could have a powerful piece of technology, but the technology is powerful. Foldable, lightweight, uh, masterfully tuned in the compact for travel-friendly package. Uh, yes, I agree. Um, perfect for mixing and audio file listening. Those don't always go hand in hand. See, when I think about mixing, I think you want flat, dead flat, like just boring, like Neumanns. I love my Neumanns because they're detail retrieval and flat as fuck. Audio file listening, on the other hand, has a lot more uh, nuance to that phrase. <laughs> Coffee. A standard Dunkin' Donuts coffee with nothing in it. That's mixing. Or for you people in Canada, because you're one of my larger things, it's a, it's a, it's a Timmy Ho's. Timmy Ho's? Is that what you guys call it? Tim Ho's. It's just like, that's coffee. Can I have a coffee with what in it? Nothing. Black. Audiophile listening, on the other hand, are mocha cappuccino espressos. Topped with cherries. Not normal cherries. Cherries grown in Guatemala. And the man seeds the ground with vanilla beans. It's like, that's, that's, when I think of audiophile listening, you want to put some stank on it. So mixing, you should have a very straight black cup of coffee. And audiophile listening, usually, it's not all the time. This is, again, it's a preference thing. But usually audiophile listening means it's a little bit more flair. When your hands do this, that's, mm. You're all searching for like, this, you want all the detail, but you also want the warmth and the love. You somehow want to fucking include emotions into the sound description. And if you're mixing, you should not be doing that. You should just be raw, fucking robotic. This is the music. I will now adjust the levels. It is now correct. If you're enjoying your mixing headphones, you're probably enjoying the source material, which is good. It's a good thing. So I would not, um, mix with these. Although they, I will say this, as much as I'm bullshitting about how, oh, this is this and this is this, these are a good right in the middle. This is a cup of black coffee with some milk and some sugar, some cream and some sugar. Maybe there's, maybe, maybe a hint of there's some vanilla in there. Good vanilla, not that cheap vanilla. Some good vanilla in there. I don't dislike the way these sound at all. I'm going to give them a recommendation. I'm just going to complain about a lot of other things along the way. Um, shh. Just talk about the cable, because I don't want to plug this back into the headphone. So, if we keep reading that piece of paper, which I put somewhere, it says, oh, just take your headphone plug, and you can plug it into either end, because it doesn't matter, because it's wired internally. There's only been one or two other headphones that have done this. The uh, Monoprice M560s have done it. And I thought it was an innovation then, because it was a $200 planar, and it was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I wish more headphones did this. But then... For three years, no other headphone did this. And now we're coming to a headphone that desperately needs a different wire. And it's hard to make. Or at least it was until I figured it out. I'm smart. I'm a smart guy. I mean, I've been doing this for a while. I got plenty of wires in a box. I can fix this. So the wire itself, I actually, in the unboxing, I didn't notice this. And I praised it. I'm like, oh, wow. These are really nice metal connectors. I like the strain relief. But the, the actual like cable, can you see the jank? You see how that's not straight? It'll never be straight. I've tried to straighten it. I've hung weights on it. I tried like pulling it around things and like rolling it. Maybe I haven't tried steaming it yet, but you got this like, how long are you? I'm six foot, so that's six foot to here. This is a seven foot cable. If it's intended for portability and only to be used in a hotel room when you are not physically outside, fine. Seven feet's fine. However, I'm pretty much gonna guarantee, if you're reading the comments of this, if you have the ability to write a comment in this video, and you either own these or considering owning them, or maybe just know how headphones work, even being an open back planner, would you wear these? 
out and about. I'm assuming 50% of the people that are going to buy these are probably going to put them on, hook them up to their phone, and walk around. And the problem is the seven-foot cable is fucking stupid. It's, it's not a bad cable. Like, it's, it's, it, other than that, everything between these connectors, from here, these are fine. I like these. But it's bad in the middle. The thing I was talking about, oh, by the way, it's a nice rubberized thing. What I was talking about is that there's no label left and right on these. There's no label left and right on these. Because they're wired in stereo, just like the end of this. In fact, left and right channel are in this tip, and left and right channel are in this tip. And what the headphone has is labels for left and right. And then these ports look like normal, three and a half millimeter ports. And when you plug it in, it's only wired to take either ground and ring or ground and tip. So, you can plug it in either way. It'll always be the correct channel left and right. That's actually a good idea. Problem is, um, nobody sells cables like that. That do that. However, that makes it easy for us to replace this cable. And I don't saying you have to do that. Maybe that seven foot cable is fine. But um, I have here two identical auxiliary cables. These happen to be Status Audio Tangle Free Liars. Tangle Free Liar cables. You don't sell these anymore on Amazon. I should have never spooled them up before this review. Oh, God. I mean, they're easier to untangle than most. I got this. I got this. I'm ZS. I got this. So what you could do is, since you can plug a cable in, and then plug it into the amplifier, any amplifier you want, and it will play the correct channel. So right there, that is right. If I do my left, right, left, right test here in the speaker demo, of course it's on shuffle. Right, right plays, but left doesn't. So it's doing its job. So what if we plugged another auxiliary cable in? I really like doing this, by the way. So now we can't plug it into the amp, or can we? All you need is a headphone splitter, and this just takes a single headphone input. This is a vintage Sony PC232HG. I think I stole this from my father from a box. This has to be from the 80s. 90s, maybe? Like, look at this thing. That's vintage as fuck. But all it does is now split for two headphones, or in this case, two sides of a headphone. And now my complaints are fucking vindicated. So now I have Left and right headphones. Let's put on some tests. Right, left. And we've got a little dragon attacks gonna play again. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you want to replace the cable, here's what it comes down to. I've opened up some, some tabs. If you want to replace the cable, we'll get to you in a second, hold on. If you want to replace the cable, I've linked to a headphone splitter, six bucks made by this company called SyncWire, has really good ratings. And they sell auxiliary cables, or any auxiliary cables will do, as long as you get a matching pair. Theirs is a little expensive. Their six and a half footers are $12. But it would be all matching, and you could just, just plug it in, as long as you're splitting it. And so here's the more interesting thing I was able to do because of this system, which I'm, I'm, I wish more headphones used it, because then I could do this. Look, watch. I'll take this out of the line. Cios, are you running now dual 789s in full, separate, balanced? Yes. Well, yes, I am. Because, um... Because each headphone side is completely separated, and the wire itself is carrying both left and right channels, and it's just playing the right channel on the right, the left channel on the left. And I think that... is cool as fuck. But you're more likely if you want to make a new headphone cable because this one is just, I don't know, it's just too long and it's a mess. I don't, it's so heavy. For a lightweight headphone, this is heavy. It's really smooth, but it's just heavy. For a travel, it's just, it's too much. It's too much. You could literally get short little extensions a foot long and then a breakout and then put another. Like there's ways to go around it. I just think this is badass. I wanted to show everyone this. That's why I'm doing this for you now. Um, the build, which everyone's like wondering, well, Zeos, how's the build? Well, here's the thing. It's very light and it's made in America, which we don't build things usually in America. And if we do, they're usually $1,000 Odyssey headphones. 
So trying to make a cheap version that's lightweight means plastic. And uh, I don't fully hate the way these are built. Not fully. I think you could find better built $400 headphones. I, I absolutely do. They'll be made in China. Pretty much guaranteed. So giving them that like, like, like caveat, it's like, all right, you do it. They don't feel special. This plastic is a little thin feeling, a little hollow. It's, it's got the folding mechanisms are metal. So at least they got that going. Well, actually, wait. No, there's a metal bit right there. The hinge itself is plastic. It spins. It has. It's okay. It's just okay. It's just okay. That's all I can say about the build. The, the, this is plastic. They did a wonderful job making it look like metal. They've rounded the edges. Like, this didn't have to. I wish cheaper, shitty manufacturers could make things look this good while making them out of plastic. So you got your Odyssey symbol there. You got these bits, which are plastic, but look very convincingly like metal. You know how many, of those, you know how many of these I see in shiny chrome? So at least, you know, they've got some taste. I'll give them that. This is pretty normal. The headband up here, decent padding, not memory foam. I think, I'm pretty sure Odyssey's allergic to memory foam. They're just allergic to it. Is that a thing? Could you be allergic to, to certain types of foam? I know you could be allergic to latex. So maybe you're, maybe someone who's high up in Odyssey is allergic to the memory foam because this, I want to say this is it. They're comfortable pads. I'm not, I'm not going to rag on the pads too much either because we're looking at like the same price category as like a Bose headset. And we all know that Bose is Bose and Bose is Bose, but these are not like a powered set. So even though the price is the same, you're missing wireless, you're missing noise canceling, you're missing, you know, close back. Although I truly don't think these would benefit. Uh, they should absolutely make a close back version of this. Odyssey makes close back versions of their stuff. I usually don't like it, but they should at least give it a, an attempt. They should give it an attempt. Give it an attempt, Odyssey. Because these sound decent. They, they are, I love how we went through the wire, we went through the bag, we went through the build. Now we'll get to the sound. You know, that last fucking stop. That's why I do it at the end. Hopefully people make it through. Get that, get that, actually I would say get that 10 minute mark so you can watch the ad in the middle of my videos, but I don't put ads in the middle of my videos because I hate advertisements. I'm a living embodiment of an advertisement, but I hate them and I don't want you guys to have to see them. So join my subscribers to our Patreon because fuck, I'm losing money. Um, what was I saying? Sound. I completely forget about the sound and just end the video. They are a comfortable set of headphones to listen to. Not comfortable in like the feel. The, the feel is okay. They have, you know, a little bit, the clamp's a little bit much. I mean, if you're going to actively go out to the tree land and run through the forest, these would be perfect. They're lightweight. They're not going to come off. I would probably, if I was keeping them, I'd probably start like, just, just put them on a phone block like this. Leave them there for a few hours every day. Leave them there, and they'd probably get real, like, significantly more comfortable to wear. Because they're a little bit, like, grippy. But the sound, I just want to listen to them, like, all the time. I took out the only other planar that I think is a comfortable sound. Well, I guess uh, if we count argons, then that would count. But I, that's not a comfortable sound. That's not a comfortable sound. What else is up here is planar. Definitely not the T60s are not a comfortable sound, but my Sundaras are a comfortable sound. Sundaras are also roughly the same price as these, a little bit cheaper even. So, why am I not buying those? Well, I think these are definitely going to hold up better over time. I've already had to rip mine apart and screw in the screw that holds the thing because it was flapping around like real fast. These are more open and airy and treble. And these do that low end, just warmth, just straight, smear it straight down from the, from zero hertz to like six, 700 is just this lovely squeegee of just, ah, they still have detail. They're not, they're not without detail, but I was listening to all sorts of songs. In fact, the last one that came on was a string quartet of Nirvana's Rape Me. And I can understand why some people are upset by these headphones because they don't really have 
what I would consider the Odyssey tuning. Odyssey's tuning is usually detail oriented. It's like LCD X is up there. They're a little dark, but they always slam you with that detail. And even the EL8s and the EL8Cs, those were detail queens first. And these have stepped back from the detail. And that's okay. It's okay to not have an insanely detailed headphone. Okay, that's not a fucking problem. It's not like, oh, pfft, garbage. Because I'm getting enough of the music that I can understand it. And I'm lulled into this like warm basket, just rocking me back and forth. It's like, here's, here's some string quartet. Or I'll sift around to a very intense bit of music from the Watchmen OST, the movie, not the show. Only two names from Rain, and it's just this... Ooh, we're up there. There's a bass kick, I feel it. There's a there's decent soundstage, probably not as soundstagey as those, those are a much bigger planar and more open back than these. I'm, I'm wearing them and I'm not like, I'm not deaf. Because there are some planars you put on and it's like, wait, these are open back? Yes, there's open back planars. Can't you tell how open they are? And it's like, mm -mm, no, you did a lot to fix the back of this. And every piece of music I put on is just smooth. I would love a full-size LCD that was this smooth. The closest thing I think I've heard from them, I love the LCD X, I still content that that is their best headphone, but the LCD 2C, the two closed back, the cheap one, that was sort of like edging towards this like, not focused on your face and highs and treble, and just sort of like, it just was good. I just need this headphone to be good, and then I can recommend it fully. And it is that. It is definitely that. It's got some some issues with the wire and the build. While I, I said it's going to hold up better than Hi-Fi Min, that's like saying that Yugo is going to hold up better than that Pinto. So, I mean, it's it doesn't feel like it's going to go bad. I feel like they would also be way more likely to uphold any sort of uh, warranty they put in this versus Hi-Fi Min. So, I mean, you could... <sighs> I just want to knock. I'm just want, I'm shaking my head like, yeah, the build, yeah. The comfort's not bad. The pads are a decent size. And the sound is uh, precisely what I'm looking for if I'm going to just assume that I'm traveling for business. I'm a very important business person. And I'm making deals that are firing people. People are being victims from their homes. People are dying on the streets because of my business dealings. And I need a headphone that will um, soothe my uh, fervid brow from all that stress. This is a good headphone for that. People are gonna, people are looking for headphones and then Odyssey realizes, here I'll show you how I figured out, because I sit down at this table now and my knowledge of headphones is uh, infinite and my brain is Swiss cheese. So I go to Hi-Fi Guides, which is the site that um, I run with uh, DMS if you'd like to check it out. And I go to headphones and I'm like, all right, what is their competition? Because I'm sitting here going, I should probably recommend some of the competition. So let's just scroll down, take the price down to uh, 450. These are 400, and the minimum of like 125. Like let's get rid of the really cheap close backs or open backs. Do I want an amp? No, something that's easy to drive like these are. Open or close back? I'm gonna skip this one because really there's not many that are open back. I wanna know about things. And then as far as the actual, I could skip that too, that's the, uh, mid forward neutral shape the category of sound so here is what the returned results are in the things i've listed meze 99 neos close back also a nice soft comfortable headphone to listen to also considered a portable headphone also has weird wires because actually the whole headphone is it's the exact opposite of this the headphone has no front or back the wires dictate what's left and right bno h6s Again, close back. Probably my favorite portable close back headphone. Like BNOH6 is, is it. And by the way, I'm not going to link to any of these. Just go to Hi-Fi Guys and do exactly the search. Fidelio X2s, they don't count. They're giant. I don't think anyone has ever considered taking their HD598Cs out and about. MDR1As, Sony's. 300 bucks. They're not cheap. 
they're, they're again, but she made in China versus made in America. So they're right in line with each other. That's, that's actually a cut. That's the toughest call. That's the closest competition right next to the MSR sevens, which are half price at 160 bucks. <sighs> but if we're going to go with open back versus closed back, I'm going to ignore them both. Uh, I don't know about the PCX 550s. That's that's a DMS adding. That's a Sennheiser. Sony 1000Xs. Again, we're talking about the Bose. Bose and the Sonys are both Bluetooth. We're not talking about those. HG 579s are, again, who would take them out? The Ricardos. The WS1100Is. Those were treble. Those were not bass. Those were treble. So that would be a little bit different soundstage. 99 Noirs again. The 99 Neos and the 99 Noirs. And then the blue mix fives, which no one's taking out the fucking robot on your head. They're just not doing it. You're not, she's not doing it. However, here's when it gets interesting because Hi-Fi Guides has a system set up so that you pick your budget. Here it is. And here are the headphones that match what you're looking for. Here are the headphones that are outside your budget but match what you're looking for. Odyssey signs their clothes back $600. So $200 more than this. I hope they get those for review at some point. Now, they think they made signs open and closed, or did they just make the signs closed? I have never reviewed them. And then the Cascades for 800 bucks. The fucking here, hold on, where are they? Do they still exist? Campfire Cascades, $800. I really like the Campfire Cascades. I think those are also built in America. But they're 800 fucking dollars, and this is half that price. Close back, also. So, they're trying to bring a headphone to market that fans of the company, because they've been around long enough now to have fans, they want this. People who, Joe has LCDXs, he loves LCDXs, he loves them. Everyone has LCDXs, love them. And if you're looking for a can to take portable, whether it's outside, under the trees with the squirrels, don't, don't ever talk to the squirrels. But if you ever go outside to the trees, you have to be a certain type of person to wear open backs, which I'm that person, because I, I know if I'm walking past someone and they hear my music, I'm okay with that. If you're sitting next to someone constantly, then you're a dick. But just, you know, moseying through a park and, you know, maybe someone hears Mozart or Static X playing or Insane Clown Plus, Plus, uh, Plossy. Pl I can't even say the word. My brain has stopped me from saying the name of that band. <laughs> I'll try to take control back later. But um, I don't mind open back headphones out and about. I really don't. As long as you're not a dick. And only you can stop being a dick. Like the forest fires bear. Well, I'm the forest fires bear for people who have music blasting out of their headphones. I'm most of the kind of person that carries boombox to parks, so I'm a dick. Um, but for $400, for going out, having okay build, very lightweight, and the kind of sound signature that just sort of like warms the cockles of your hearts, I'm okay with these headphones. I've already solved the uh, the wire issue. You just need a splitter and some auxiliary cables. Boom, fucking drop the mic. And I'm also, I'm gonna bring this back up because I'm, I'm a big, um, I've had hard audio cables has sent me one. In fact, it's hooked up right now to there. My Odysseys have a, two cables. I like the two cable system because when you get rid of the split, you can literally do like anything you want and it doesn't bind and that's my favorite. I ran over this with my chair wheel. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so sorry, babies. These are very thin, these status ones. So noodle thin. Overall, giving these a recommendation. They're they're expensive. If they were $300, this would be a completely different review. It would just be me screaming yes, fucking yes, fucking yes. Are they lack in the painful detail that is honestly good? Good, I don't want that all the fucking time. It's like going to an ice cream shop and they have five or six different um, flavors of ice cream. This one's called um, sharp vanilla and this one's called extra sharp vanilla and this one's called extra extra sharp vanilla with broken glass in it. And this one's called vanilla, but with a double milk vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Give me another fucking sound signature and they've done that and everyone's complaining. I think, I'm pretty sure that's why people are complaining. I don't look, I don't, Someone blamed me for not knowing who Alex Rossin is. I don't want to know. I don't want to know anything about who designed this or what they're, I'm here to just judge things. Put it on my desk. If I didn't know the price, that'd be fine too. 
Eh, it's build. It's worth about 200 bucks for the build. Oh, it's more than that? Okay. Well, it's worth about 300 bucks for the sound. Oh, it's more than that? Oh, well, it comes from Odyssey, and this person spent 17 years designing it. I don't care. That doesn't affect my judgment of a headphone. I'm here to judge it. I'm here to judge it and give my judgment on camera with a camera in my head and animate titties, and that's, that's my job. So, I asked, um... Adorama. Adorama sent these to me, by the way. Um, if anybody would like me to get anything for review, now that I'm not working with Adorama, but they are very, very, very nice, and they're going to be like, hey, do you want to review anything? So if you guys go to Adorama.com, which have a ton of stuff, please, in the comments, say what you'd like me to review from them, because they're just willing to send it out for me to review and get it back. Unless they want to leave these here, in which case, yard sale. But um, links to Adorama, where this is in the description. So... I don't hate these, and neither should anyone else, unless you just don't understand, this is chocolate. This is chocolate. Vanilla, 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 Odys I don't have any Odysseys on my wall, and it's sad. And if I did, it would be an LCD X, and that's the only one of those that I'm like super really into. Everything else was just like, oh, too sharp, too weird, way too sharp. Like the LCD fours were just aggressive as fuck. I like these. These might be my second favorite Odyssey headphones. That that's that's saying something. There's a lot of things you got to get around. The wire, the build isn't exactly you know, but they give you a case for a reason. They give you a case so you don't break it. Now if you're gonna throw them in your backpack, and you're a, you're a, you're a school going boy or girl, they're probably not gonna hold up to a year's worth of abuse. They're too expensive. Buy a cheaper headphone. B&O's will probably, actually, do those fold? B&O's don't fold, do they? Mm. There's a ton of cheaper options you can get if you're going to abuse them. If you know you're going to abuse something, don't buy these. These are specifically for people who are going to put them in that carry case, bring them somewhere, have them, and then put them back in that case and travel somewhere else. Then they're fine. I'm going to use them out and about because I'm a dick. But uh, also, you know, I just say fix it for me. And I think Odyssey would fix it. So that's it. That's, that's my that's my review. I'm I'm satisfied with that statement. From what I've said, I've said things, can't take them back. I like these headphones. They're not the best built thing on earth, but they are made, handcrafted in California, wherever that is. I think it's in the middle somewhere by like Oklahoma. Uh, that wallpaper in the description. Links to these at Adorama. Links to the some cable solutions that I've worked out. In case you just happen to own these and you found this video, hi! That's in the description. Patreon and Subscribestar, which keep the lights on and the cat fed, are down there. They also would buy things like this. Not enough people were, like, on my dick about getting this, so I just waited. If you're on my dick, if you're on my dick as a community, I will just spend the Patreon money, the Subscribestar money, and I will just go out and buy things. Just buy, 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 okay, buy, oh, but buy, okay, buy. Actually, I bought, definitely bought these bears. Those are the tigers. We'll get to those. Um, yeah. Check out subscribers. Check out Patreon. Find all the benefits. See these reviews early. Ask me any questions I want on platform. Enter in the yard sale. Which, if there is one, I don't know if mm, there'll be other... Mm, we'll be in yard sales. First of the 10th of every month. $10 tier gets you in the behind-the-scenes Telegram chat, which is actually pretty good. It's pretty good numbers in there right now. Everyone's happy. People are buying things. Uh, if you can't afford the $10 tier, if you're in there now, if you're a patron of mine now and you literally can't afford this, do not be afraid to leave. We reset every three months, but you're more than welcome to stay from as long as you're in there until when that three month click comes around, which is every quarter. So the end of, end of May, end of June, end of September. We close the chat and then reopen it when new people join in. But you could just hang out in there forever. Well, forever until it ends. Um, other than that, I've already showed you Hi-Fi Guides. We actually used it. Zeos used his own site, because Zeos' brain is Swiss cheese. But don't forget to check out the forums, which I actually started this post of uh, best surround sound scenes in movies, and I put timestamps and everything, because Hi-Fi Guides is a growing boy. A growing boy. Fostex TH610s. Funny picture thread. I have not been here. An off-topic. I like a good off-topic. I put red on my coffee this morning instead of water. Okay, that's some dad joke level stuff. 
Video not supported with MME type found. No, oh my God, people have literally, is it broken? Video unavailable. All right, well, whatever. There's only um, 749 posts, and I'm sure they get funny at some point. But check out the forums, check out Hi-Fi Guides, check out these headphones, go in the comments of this video, give me a list of stuff from Outer Realm you'd like me to try, and um, wallpaper for your phone, or whatever, I don't know, whatever, whatever you would use my wallpapers for, they're down there in the description and available to all patients and subscribe star subscribers. Thank you. I'm gonna go and um, I think try to find shorter auxiliary cables that I have that match and then put them to that thing and then take these out for a walk. Cause it's, this is where the trees are. The trees and the gnomes and the pots of gold, they're all out there with the ice cream.